How many sleeps are there left before Christmas? One. Maybe three quarters of one. But this will be the soundest night's sleep of the year, won't it? The Gospel Father Paddy read reminds us you'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Luke's Gospel reminds us that's what it's all about. A baby born in a stable on a bed of straw. God joining us in a most remarkable way. God with us in the fragile and the messiness of our lives. God taking flesh just like one of us. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. My fascination this year is on reindeers. Hands up those who know any of the reindeer names, Santa's reindeers. What are they again? Rudolph, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. Blitzen was the one that got lost in Wexford two years ago and Santa collected this time last year. But let's remember Rudolph. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it slow. That was written in 1949. First performed by Gene Autry, affectionately known as the Singing Cowboy. Did cowboys visit the baby Jesus? Who did? Shepherds. Again, Luke's Gospel, the Father Paddy read, reminds us, in the countryside close by there were shepherds who lived in the fields and took it in turns to watch their flocks during the night. The first Noel the angels did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields where they lay. Why was Rudolph's nose Red. I'll tell you. Scientists have done a study in a top university in Oslo that tell us Rudolf had, listen to this parents, listen to this granny and granddad because you could have this as well, a respiratory parasitic infection. <laughs> it's not covered by VHI or Aviva. But apparently reindeers are prey to 20 or 40 more parasites specific to them. Their nose are full of membranes filled with blood that warms the air as they breathe in and cool it as they breathe out. Boys and girls, let's try breathing in and out. Shh, now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Out. Now don't go asleep. Mary, will you take this baby boy? Mary, will you take this baby boy? Will you fill the world with love and joy? Will you take this baby boy? When I came into the church this evening, first place I visited was the crib. Many children around the crib. We love to visit the crib in the church, boys and girls, don't we? It's our sacred place. Hands up those who have a crib at home. When you go home, when you go home, boys and girls, I want you to put the baby Jesus into the crib. Maybe he's wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper at the bottom of the Christmas tree. Open the wrapping paper, place the baby Jesus in the manger, give him a hug, and give everyone in your family a big hug as well. Will you do that? And our eyes at last shall see him through his own redeeming love. 
For that child, so dear and gentle, is our Lord in heaven above. Christmas is about family. A blessed family, but also a homeless family. A family who allowed God to come into this world in a very real and profound way by being kind, gentle, respectful, by being loving to one another, we can be that Christ child to one another, not just Christmas Day, but every day throughout the year. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Venite adoremus, venite adoremus, venite adoremus. Adoremus. May we adore him, not just this Christmas night, but every night and day throughout the year. So, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better watch out, I'm telling you why. Excellent. Now you're very good singers, so every blessing and good wishes to all of you for a good Christmas and 2019. Amen.